Geisha Bay is a natural science laboratory. There are very, very few places in the world where we can watch natural processes playing out in real time. And that is the unique opportunity we have in Glacier Bay. When glaciers advance, they carve out a huge U-shaped channel in the bedrock. And then if they hit tide water, when that glacier retreats, the tide water flows in and creates a bay or an inlet. That's exactly the process that gave rise to the formation of Glacier Bay. The Marjorie Glacier is the place in the park where you're most likely to see the process of carving. This is the process where ice falls from the face of the glacier into the water below. It's no doubt one of the most spectacular things to see. Certainly the park was set up to watch how natural processes evolve as climate changes and as glaciers retreat. The park's giving us the perfect chance to really catalogue, document and understand the changes that are currently taking place. Currently there's a multitude of different scientific projects underway in the park. Scientists are studying everything from the geology of the park, the underwater soundscape of the park, the impact of tourism and visitor activity on different areas that are important to plants and animals. So the work that the scientists are doing in the park is truly making a very monumental contribution to our understanding of our changing world in Alaska today.